here. We have a fun video slash vlog for you today. I thought it'd be really cool because you guys love seeing my full day of eating videos. I know you mentioned they give you lots of good ideas. So I wanted to do kind of a different day of eating for myself. Today's agenda includes a long run for me to complete, which I already completed. So today's full day of eating is gonna probably be a lot more than what I typically consume. I'm actually hungry as we film this intro, so I need to eat more soon. But I wanna take you through a day of eating for me. I guess this would be more of a refeed day. However, I'm not really tracking, but I know I'm gonna need to eat more carbohydrates than what I typically eat. Probably gonna eat more protein than what I normally eat. We're just gonna let the body dictate how the day goes in terms of what I need to eat to make sure I fuel myself back up. And that's really important because I think a lot of people who maybe exercise quite a bit, maybe you have some days that are a little higher level exercise, you do a bit more duration. You don't always account for it depending on your goals. But for me personally, with my goals right now, I know I need to make sure I eat enough today, eat more than my normal, or else it's gonna catch up with me during the week and kick me in the butt. So it's better to make sure you get ahead of it versus it catching up with you. At least that's how I look at it. So I wanna share my full day of eating with you guys. I wanted to start my day out with something that was gonna fuel my run, but not be overly heavy or cause me any discomfort during my run. So this morning I went with things that I knew went over well for me. So number one, I do need caffeine in the morning. So I had my usual mixture of cold brew coffee mixed with my favorite ghost Oreo protein shake. So I make that shake up separately with some milk and then I add it into my cold brew and it's just so delicious. It caffeinates me, hydrates me, starts my day with a little protein. And then to pair with that, I did have a slice of like wheat, nut and grain toast, if you will, that I added a little bit of almond butter to and some sugar-free jelly. So something not too heavy, but just enough to fuel me up for my run. He loves cuddling up on that carpet too. He does. <laughs> yeah. He does that to me too. He likes being in between the legs. He does. He does, he He's does. a little cuddle monster. Where'd Big go? Oh, he laid down behind the couch. He left us. Need food. Jason made me a delicious little, I'm gonna call this a snack, if you will. This is a pancake he's been making for a while now. He's been loving it. I've never even once like asked you to taste it until today. I came up from my 10 mile run and I was like, have a little taste of it. And it was so good. And I was like, now you wonder why I eat two, two of these a day. I am not surprised. It's a ghost vegan protein in pancake batter. That's probably my favorite for like baking. Really good for baking and cooking. Yeah. Because whey protein doesn't bake the same. It doesn't. It gives like a little more volume, if you will, to like It tastes more like baking. cakey. Yeah, it gives it that like cakey texture. Is it as good as mine? Mm-hmm. Because cooking them back to back, the, the pan gets hotter, so it cooks different. It tastes like... Delicious. Almost like a gingerbread cookie or something. I know. Like and when I was like making Christmas. these with the gingerbread, oh my God, you would oh, like... Oh yeah, I forgot about the gingerbread protein. But yeah, it tastes like Christmas in my mouth, which is fine because it was snowing out today, so it's appropriate. Can we show them the inside? You want to see the inside? Maybe like the down inside. here? Oh, I got that, yeah. Oh. And there's the uh, inside. So yeah, I wasn't planning on eating this, but Jason Jason so graciously offered to make it for me, and your your girl needs to eat today, so I'm like, hook me up with that. So it's a well, you Like, I can't believe you never asked to try that. I've never even asked you. I. I barely ever asked to taste your food. I don't do that to you. Like it looked really good to me. I don't know why I've never looked at it like that. And now you're like, now I'm like, uh, Kara, remind me to order more of this tonight because I guarantee you she's gonna want to start eating these. I think it's because you put the pumpkin in there. The consistency is so good. Yeah, when I started putting organic pumpkin in there, it changed. Mm -hmm. It was a game changer. It was like a slow build, like mm -hmm. experimenting. I'm like, oh, this is okay. Then I added this, I'm like, oh, this is even better. Then yeah. I added this, I'm like, it's even better now. You get in all the protein through protein powder today. Do it every day, so it's fine. Now I'm gonna have some real meats too. Yeah. I'll have some meats after. Just warming up my stomach. Just finished up prepping some chicken breast. I always like cut off all the nasty bits and I'm a little like generous with it just because it doesn't go to waste, the dogs eat it. But in case you wanna know, I don't do anything special. I've got the chicken boobs there. I add to it 
some extra virgin olive oil. I actually only used that teaspoon right there. That was plenty for all the chickens, so you really don't need a ton of oil. But let me tell you, the oil goes such a long way for the flavor in the chicken. So I used that, a little Wegmans garlic sea salt, then some tomato basil, Mrs. Dash, and it just makes up the perfect little chicken breast. So I've got the oven preheating at 400 degrees and I'll probably throw these in there for like 25 minutes. It really shouldn't need longer than that. I used to always majorly dry out my chicken, so cooking it less and not really ruining it keeps it nice and juicy and tasty. So eager to eat my chicken. Thank you for making me that pancake, baby. Mm. I'd be so angry right now if it wasn't for that. I got my chicken cooking right now, which is great. And in my mind, I have a whole big meal plan that's gonna be so good. But you know when you're like waiting for your food to cook and you're just starving, so you wanna start snacking? Are you putting my slippers on last? I was hoping you wouldn't show those. I saw them and I was kind of confused. What do you want me to do? I was kind of confused by this look. Well, what am I supposed to do in the house? Walk on my bare feet on the hardwoods? It hurts my body. I do. No, mm-mm. We don't, nay nay, we don't do that. It hurts the body. I literally feel it in my feet. That's why I can't not walk around in slippers <laughs> on hardwoods. I have to make fun of you for something in every video. Apparently Last one, you didn't brush your teeth the whole day. All right, so I have a great tip for you guys, something to share. So if you're like me, where you tend to snack when you've got food cooking and then you kind of spoil the meal, here's what I'm gonna tell you to do. We have got here actually two different things. I'm gonna do this one though. We have Bellway Super Fiber. You guys have seen me use Bellway products a ton. I love them. This is just their psyllium husk fiber supplement in the flavor pineapple passion fruit. Very tasty. I haven't had a flavor I don't like of these. I, I think too, a big part of that is that there's no artificial sweeteners in them. They're just naturally sweetened from fruit. So they're very light tasting and refreshing. What I'm gonna have today is the beauty formulation, which is the super fiber, that's the psyllium husk, but then there's also collagen in here as well. So I do wanna say thank you to Bellway for this portion of the video that they are sponsoring. I have worked with them a bunch before, as I said, and there hasn't been anything from them I do not like. If you have not tried any of their products, just the regular psyllium husk super fiber one's really good, but I'm excited to be incorporating this one into my routine more with the collagen in there. And there's also hyaluronic acid in there as well. Oh, if you want to get a shot of all the goods that's in there. This one's in the flavor watermelon, which is super tasty. What I like about this is twofold on this guy because there is the psyllium husk fiber in there. If y'all have been following me since my bodybuilding prep days, you know I always made psyllium husk pancakes, if you remember those. The reason why I would do that during prep is using psyllium husk is it's fiber, but it's so filling. So when you put it in water, cook it into a pancake, which you can do with these, it expands, it gets really fluffy, and it's not only filling to eat, it just kind of fills up your stomach with that additional volume. So that's huge for anyone that's trying to lose weight or subside the appetite like I'm trying to do right now. Also adds in that additional fiber, which is just good for your overall health your gut health. And then we have the collagen and hyaluronic acid in this one, which is just great for anti-aging. Your body does produce collagen on its own, but unfortunately, as we get older, if we're so blessed to, then the collagen production decreases. So adding some in via a supplement can be really helpful with just increasing the collagen back in, kind of giving you a bit more of a radiant look, can be good for your hair, your skin, your nails, also for your joints too, which is something I'm being more cautious of as I am running more and just trying to tend to the body, make sure I'm preventing any aches and pains as much as I can. So anything I can do to help all of that sounds pretty dang good to me. So while my chicken's cooking, I'm gonna do one scoop of this and you just add it to eight ounces of water. I'm just gonna mix it up. You don't need like a shaker cup or anything. You don't wanna let it sit there too long because psyllium husk is kind of similar to Kind of reminds me of like chia seed in a way. It just expands a bit more the longer it sits there. 
You can take this up to three times a day, but if you do wanna try this out, I would start with just once a day to kind of minimize bloating as you get your body used to it. I wanna say the watermelon's probably the, my favorite one I've tried thus far. The pink lemonade's really good too. But I do have a link for you guys if you wanna try it out. 10% off your first order off Amazon. Amazon is the cheapest place that you can buy any of the Bellway products. So I will leave that link in the description for you. 10% off your first order. Highly suggest the watermelon super fiber plus collagen. I haven't had collagen in so long. I haven't been using it. So I feel like I look a little dull. Hair is looking a little dull. Skin's looking a little dull coming out of the winter months. We're still trying to in New York. So I'm hoping adding this in every day will get a little life back to this lady. And cheers, because this will definitely tide me over till the chicken's done. This is the meal I've been waiting for. I had the sweet potatoes and green beans prepped yesterday. So that was really nice. I didn't have to worry about that, but we're gonna have a nice big plate here of organic chicken. I'm gonna use a little sweet heat, thanks to my man G Hughes. Love his BBQ. I thought you were gonna say thanks to my man Jason for saving it for me. Like <laughs> that was him. nice of you. Yeah. That is my favorite one by the G Hughes line for barbecue sauce. Uh, so we've got that. Purple sweet potato, I can't always find it, but they had it at Wegmans this week, so I grabbed them. Love purple sweet potato if you've never tried it. It's just not as sweet as regular sweet potato, in my opinion. Would you agree, Jay? Yeah, not quite as sweet. I actually like purple yams. It's really good. Even more. Purple yams are actually purple on the outside than like white on the inside. They're really nutty tasting. Those are oh, so good. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be some good carbohydrates to get in me post run. I did add a little butter to it because my appetite, she is here today. She's thriving. So I just want to make sure I get enough fat in this meal too. Hopefully this will fill me up a little bit, but if not, we're going to keep eating. It's what we're doing today. We needed today. that bison from yesterday. Oh my God. I've never tried bison. Like I've tried ground bison before, but yesterday. You didn't like ground bison. I wasn't a was huge weird. fan of it. I'm like really picky with texture on ground red meat, I guess. But they had bison strip steak and it was super lean. Cooked it up. It got so crispy on the outside. Had a really good flavor to it. So I'm definitely going to buy that again. Yeah, I'd want it next time too. My body was craving. I've had red meat red in probably meat. three months. What are the macros on that guy? On that sweet potato? About 25 protein. Oh, a little bit of carbs in the beans, not a ton. And then I pretty much got a whole sweet potato here, so probably 30 to 40. Carbs, 40 grams of carbs, yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, our dogs are very large, <laughs> if you can't tell. And he's only 21 weeks old. Holy, you're my pillow. Dude. How's my angle? Is it good? Let me fix your angle a little bit here. I can see up my nose. I'm not even gonna sit down. I'm just oh, gonna okay. throw this into my pie hole. Just gonna have a real quick little snacky treat dessert, if you will. These are the Chobani flips. I do like having these on hand when I want something sweeter, but for a day like today when I'm just trying to eat more carbs, these are good. They're 22 carbs, uh, 160 calories for fat and eight grams of protein. I just really like the flavor. I think the cookie dough ones are probably my favorite. I don't buy these all the time, but they are just kind of like a nice little fun treat to have on hand, so. I'm going to get comments on your dress in this video. Well, I thought people like pretty, it. Pretty look. Your makeup's really good. I bet you by now, already okay. in the video, these nice people already said something about that. A lot of times I get asked about my jewelry. I should mention that. It's always on, I say this like I'm affiliated. It's always on Common James, uh, not affiliated. I don't know that they actually. We're going there. I know. I, I haven't mentioned that to the vlog yet. We will be going to. Uh, very excited. Jason and I have a trip planned to go to Nashville the beginning of June. So if you've ever been, let us know if there's anywhere in particular we need to go. Keep in mind, we're healthy eaters. Like we're not gonna like go out for some like wild Southern dinner, but it would be fun to like hit up the downtown scene. And I'm clearly like a hardcore Kristen Cavallari fan. And uh, I wanna go downtown and Jason said, 
he'd go with me to Uncommon James because I've asked him 14 times. I'm like, we have to go to Uncommon James though. But we're gonna go down and visit the Lowliners. They live there now, so I'm really excited to see Mark and Katie and the kids. I haven't seen the kids in forever. Dress is from Lovely and Blush. If you do wanna check out Lovely and Blush Boutique, I do have an affiliate code with them. It's Kara. If you plug that in, you'll save 10%. They have tons of cute stuff. I have like a whole lovely and blush like wardrobe compiled for what I'm probably going to bring to Nashville with me because it's been too cold to wear anything here. I didn't even know that was like lovely and blush. I you just, didn't? No, I thought it was nice. Oh, I thought you were like thrown in a, like a plug no, I or something. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. And this uh, little jean jacket is old. It's from Forever 21. So I'm going to eat my little snackaroo and Jason and I are going to go take a bath together because we're hurting we're hurting we're sore and we're hurting and i feel like the epsom salt baths go a long way for my recovery and just like relaxing my muscles so very much needed feeling bad that i hadn't ate any fruit today because all we have is blueberries i'm like oh, i want blueberries jason's like no you want blueberries they're good and he's right they're good shove the couple in her mouth <laughs> he convinced me so getting a little fruit in, but honestly, a day like today, after a long run, I would normally want a lot of fruit. Like I'm craving fruit, like juicy fruits that are hydrating. Like You've been eating a lot of pineapple. Like We're mango out. and just juicy things. Like blueberries are good, but like today's not the day I'm like craving them as much. But it just so happens we don't have a ton of fruit at home. And this is one of those days where I'm just trying to eat things that we have at home. We didn't go anywhere today and some days you just gotta eat what you have on stock so that things don't go bad. We have to go back to the pancake I ate earlier. Jason's cock blocking you all because he tells me we should do a separate video showing how to do the pancake. Would it be its own video? Would you watch it at, as its own video? Remember back in the day when I used to only post recipe videos, if you've been here that long? Shout out in the comments yourself, but um. it's too much involved. It's it's easy to make, but there's just so much to it. I think it so maybe translate one, better in video. One little video. Yeah, I think it just translate better it's in video. It's on video. Yeah, because that's the thing with recipes; they get lost sometimes when they're in a vlog. If I don't note them in the title, you know what I mean. Yeah. So we're gonna do that separately. So if you want to see it, also let us know. Thumbs up this video. Hold your tits. What's up? Hold your tits. Hold my tits? No, that's what we say to justice when he's oh, being impatient. We tell him to calm. Calm his tits. Calm your tits. Yeah, calm, your tits. <laughs> calm your tits, bro. Calm your tits. <laughs> All right, we're going to have dinner now, though. I am getting super tired. The run hit me, so I'm like at that stage where I could easily not eat, not because I'm not hungry, because I've literally been hungry all day. What are we watching called? It is it cake it's on cake. Netflix? If you want just like a carefree kind Nothing of show, yep. whatever show to throw on, that was kind of good to unwind and relax for a bit. And so then naked and afraid. Yes, that one's good too. Did All right, for shirt? dinner. I don't have bronze. So I mean, don't don't judge how the boobs look in the shirt. Killer clowns from outer space. Such a good movie, such a classic movie, and I have become a collector of killer clown T-shirts. <laughs> they did killer clowns as a scare zone at Halloween Horror Nights. And then not last year, 2019, 2019 they had their own house. So 2018 was, was so the cool. scare zone, 2019 the house. Yeah. Right. They are both so awesome. It was so cool. It was literally my favorite. I hope they bring it back, I really do. But in the meantime, collecting the t-shirts. Dinner, it's okay that it's getting kind of cold because it's more of like a cold bowl, if you will. I have in here some tuna we got from the fish truck. I just cooked it in the air fryer for five minutes and it does cook it all the way through. If you go beyond that, like Jason likes it a little bit overcooked, it gets a little more chewy. So just depending on how you like it. Um, so anyways, fresh tuna. We've got a bed of jasmine rice. We've got a good honker of avocado, a little bit of sliced cucumber, red pepper. Did some everything but the bagel seasoning on top. I wanted to just do sesame seeds, but I don't have any. So Jason was had a good idea to use the everything but the bagel seasoning. Thanks for the credit. You're welcome, babe. And then I'm gonna do just a drizzle. Literally, this is all you need of this teriyaki sauce is a drizzle and it gives it such a nice flavor. I mean, this would taste fine without it, but today's one of those days I'm like, give me just like a little extra sauce and drizzle, please. 
all over the whole thing. Not my norm, probably because I'm not used to doing that long of a run on a treadmill, but I normally kind of replenish my electrolytes a bit when I'm running and my glucose. Didn't do either, I just drank straight water the whole time, which makes sense with my energy. It got a little low during the run. I would normally replenish with what's called a goo that usually has some simple sugar in it as well as electrolytes. Or I would do like a Gatorade or something, but I just didn't, I didn't plan for it. So getting back in a little so sodium and I've drank a ton of water today. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Thank what do you, you think? Yeah, I think you're doing really good. So and I you. ate really good yesterday too, like in terms of being strategic with going into the run, making sure I was like eating enough throughout the week. That eating. wasn't going to make you feel like crap either. What's that? That wasn't going to make you feel like crap exactly, either. Exactly, yeah, because it can make or break you how you eat. You should thank everyone who joined the Discord. Got a lot of people in there. Oh yeah, if you guys watched the last video or follow me on Instagram, you know I started the Discord. We're talking about all the Buff Bunny things, Buff Bunny babes up in there. So if you haven't joined, we'll leave that link down in the description box. Go ahead and join. Like as soon as I get details on any launches and things like that, we'll be spilling all the details in there. The entire video was in like this spot of the kitchen. What's your fault? That's my fault. I don't know where else to go when I eat food. This is where I eat food. All right, we're gonna finish off the night. It's like one of those things where like I went from like, I was so full from what I just ate. And I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna eat again. And then like it dropped in my stomach and I was like, wait, I'm like still hungry, I think. <laughs> so I'm not gonna make a whole other meal. I think I've done pretty good. I'm gonna do one of these birthday cake. I'll show you there. Birthday cake Yasso bars. I Yep, it's a newer one. Matches your nails. It does. I really, actually, that makes my little heart happy. What? I don't know. I just like that it, it like, reminds me of spring, summer. And since it's been so cold out, I'm just, like, trying to live in a world where I believe it's summertime right now. You know, you'd be like to see macros. See the macros? 90 calories in one of those. What is it? Five protein, 16 carbs, one gram of fat. I do, I like that these are low fat because... Uh, a lot of ice cream bars are not, so the Greek yogurt bars are really good. I personally prefer letting these sit out at room temperature for a few minutes to get a little soft and melty. So I'm going to let it sit out before I enjoy this on the couch and wind down for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. A little bit of a different style, if you will. will. Just trying to pack in the calories today. And hopefully it does me good during the week in terms of how I feel and recovery and all that good stuff. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, do not forget to hit that thumbs up button before you head on out of here. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.